Guys, welcome back to another episode and welcome back to this series. Uh, I basically been on the road for the past seven days now and we're basically just exploring for a good while. And now we're here at one of my favorite locations of all times. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You have the redwoods in the background you have the coast right to my right. It feels so good to be back here. Now before we set up, of course, after a long drive, we have to crack a cold one and wind down for a bit. Uh, yeah, it's full-time four-wheel drive. Okay, cool. Right. I thought I was pretty well equipped until, uh, <laughs> until I stopped moving, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not good. <sighs> On the way up here, coming down that trail, I'm like, man, we should have really got a truck. Okay. Got Tacoma. Let's go really slow. See if we can... So, I did not stop at a bait shop. I ended up going to Trader Joe's for some food. So, I figured using the Trader Joe's Argentinian red shrimp with ginger, garlic, butter, and a few other things would be a perfect bait for Dungeness Craft. Now, I could be wrong, but we're not going to know until we try. So, we're going to put this little little package inside this container and we're going to work our way to towards the beach here just shortly and see if this if this works so we can get away with it All right, so that was first cast. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm a little skipped out just because I'm sacrificing a really good dinner. That shrimp smells absolutely delicious. 
Uh, but I'm hoping that our good deeds earlier with helping the guy out, you know, from getting stuck will basically be in our favor. But man, this place is absolutely beautiful. Guys, our luck for Dungeness Crab <laughs> It's not looking good. I know the smile probably made you think we had one, but we don't. Well guys, fishing did not go as planned and unfortunately we used a pretty good, pretty good meal to try to catch those crabs. So, huh, it's all right. I guess we're gonna have to eat some steak tonight. Also from Trader Joe's. So we had to turn the truck around just because the sun was absolutely beating and uh, yeah, it's pretty hot out here and it's been about three days since I showered. So I finally took the geyser out and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's time to freshen up a little bit. I wasn't going to shower today. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but the problem is I was in there fishing and I got all this like salt water on me and if you guys have been to the beach before and you guys have been swimming in salt water before you know that it makes you feel like ashy and I'm not not liking that at all. So for dinner I wanted to cook some steak but I also remember that I had some chimichurri chicken empanadas and Edward I know you're watching this bro dude you got me going on those things so we'll save this for tomorrow. But this is what we're having tonight. All right, so here we have them. The empanadas. What else I make it more? Meaning, one got a little burnt, but it's all good. Fortunately, I'm out of napkins, but I'm not out of El Yucateco sauce. Let's go! This one's brand new. Oh. 
All right. Open it up. Chicken chimichurri. <laughs> then you got deco sauce. Oh, that's a lot. But it's gonna be bomb. Mmm. Nice word. Got me hooked. By the way, Edward is one of my really close friends. He goes by the name of Trail Ready Forerunner. And we went out to Kennedy Meadows and out towards the Toronto Pentacles. And he's the one that introduced me to these chicken chimichurri empanadas. And they are absolutely bomb. So if you want to follow him, Trail Ready Forerunner on YouTube. He makes camping easy with these Trader Joe's tips. Mmm. Spring. Why am I whispering? People are out partying, being loud. It's already 11.30. Well, we're gonna get some rest. Let's get the fireplace going because it's pretty chilly. It's 55 or so. That's pretty cold. Now, there's one thing in my camper that I love the most and think is the coolest thing ever is this furnace. This thing keeps you warm. It has a cool little fire flame to it. It gets just the mood going. And uh, it's in the perfect area here. Basically um, just maximizing the space of this camper has been the biggest uh, goal and having it there and not having a buddy heater or diesel heater just in the middle of nowhere and having to take it in and out. I mean, this thing is just pretty rad, so love it. <laughs> this thing is so cool. So cool. Guys, what an epic day today. From driving from the last location from that last episode that you guys watched to getting to this beautiful spot, man. It was great. Now, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early 
and I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna see if I can get a Dungeness Crab. This is where I'll leave you guys. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so now that I have a full stomach, I told you guys I would try my very hardest to catch some Dungeness crab for dinner. And that is exactly where I'm heading now. Wish me luck. So guys, this is what I'm using. The Trader Joe's chicken Italian sausage. So what I do is I mush it, kind of break it into sections so it, it's nice and stinky for them. And then I'll just basically stuff the inside of the snare. I mean, look at this. Don't tell me. If you're a crab, this wouldn't look tasty. Enjoy a cup of coffee with such an awesome view. Well, me and Joe do. Cheers. Oh, that's so good.
let's go! I have a good feeling that after casting another snare crab out there, that we'll catch another one. Hopefully it's legal. If not, we'll have to release it just like we released the, the smaller one. So I told you guys I'd be back and I'm back for more, baby. I'm so excited. Guys, so I had to go over there and clean it for you guys so you guys can see exactly what we're dealing with. Look at how big this crab is. Unfortunately, it is missing a claw. It only has one. But this is basically legal here. And uh, my mouth is already watering. So it looks at the Trader Joe's Italian chicken sausage is working for these crabs. So we're gonna continue to throw it out and uh, see if we can catch a limit for tonight. I, I'll definitely skip on the, on the steak if we can catch a few more of these. And uh, we have a, a buddy of mine that's been gracious and, and has been hanging out with me for the past couple hours, you know, after being on the road for seven oh, by the way my mouth is watering by the way I'm, I'm excited for this but after being on the road for seven days and uh you know just being somewhat lonely to a point it's great to have a conversation with somebody that's like-minded that's out here just to to enjoy this place for what it is and uh life this is what life's about so if you're watching this video, thank you so much for watching. I strongly encourage you to get out and explore and take some time off the daily hustle and bustle to reset and just take care of your soul and the inner you. Being out here just This makes everything better. So here we have Joe and Libby. By the way, bro, you've been such, a, such an awesome friend here. Oh, no. And uh, I was using the Pelican case with a little bit of water like I showed you guys earlier to keep this guy alive, but uh, he's got a, a little unit here that will keep him alive. Yep, there's the bubbler. Oh, there you go. Zero one. I gotta go with some, uh, get some salt water. Yes. So I'll be back. Hehe. <laughs> So we did move locations uh, just because it got a little slow on the other end. But Joe and I have been basically, you know, working together to try to get another Dungeness crab on that snare. But for now, we're going to reward ourselves with that first Dungeness crab, Dungeness crab that was caught, and we're going to cook it right on the beach. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be tasty. I'm sure it's gonna 
Oliva's wanting more, but let's get that jet boil going and boil it up. Oh yeah, get up with that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how you do it. You ready, Joe? Uh, look hey, here. this is all you right here. Oh, you're right getting on. the cloth. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Guys, talk about an epic day here at camp. Not only are the views amazing here, but man, just being able to go fish the whole entire day and catch dinner. Well, kind of, because we're still going to eat some steak tonight. But you guys, you guys get what I mean. I haven't had a day like this in a long time where everything just plays out I make an awesome friendship in the middle of nowhere and uh, Joe if you're watching this video man I I just want to thank you for your friendship and and for keeping me company um, out here you know being on the road seven days straight now um, has has taken a, a toll on my you know like my I don't know, ability to just be with somebody and hang out and, and just conversate, you know? Like, this is something, but actually having someone there to hang out with, it's been, yeah, it was awesome. And also, too, the two subscribers that showed up at camp yesterday, thank you so much for the company. Um, it's, it's great just meeting people uh, that truly just love the outdoor and love exploring and meeting them in a place like this. And knowing that you guys watch the channel, I mean, it's, it's, I, I, it's priceless. I can't really explain the feeling. So, yeah, I'm absolutely thankful for each and every one of you guys that watch this channel. And uh, <clears throat> ooh, I'm getting a little knot in my throat. Is this the gratitude? Is 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 unexplainable? I I can't I can't words cannot describe the feeling that I that I feel right now. So, thank you guys. It's, it's, it's so dope. So for dinner, all we're gonna have is a good old piece of steak. I think it looks pretty well done. Oh, um, let me see here. Uh, what do you think? Hmm. A little on the salty side. I think I went too too crazy on the seasoning, but overall Overall it's an okay steak. 
Um, ah, I think it's a little chewy for my taste. For my liking. For the rest of the night, we would find ourselves hanging out around the campfire, enjoying this beautiful place and the sound of the waves one last night. I want to thank Joe for his company, and I want to thank everybody that stopped by to say hello. This is definitely one for the books that I will never forget. Now for those of you guys that are watching here on YouTube, I hope you really enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it and editing for you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing for more content like this. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.